this is this is beautiful. This gives me the opportunity to show people what the plane can do. You're right. With the experience and practice. Yeah, this is how you get people wanting to buy the plane. <laughs> what an awesome run you figured out there. <laughs> Today I'm at Aero Adventure in Deland, Florida, where they build the beautiful Aventura 2. And I'm gonna cross something off of my bucket list. I'm gonna go fly in a seaplane. Let's go have some fun. There are a lot of reasons why I love the Aventura 2, but the main reason is that it was engineered in Florida to be a go anywhere type of plane. It turned out to be the most affordable seaplane on the market today. The only catch is that you'll have to build it yourself, but with a build time of 300 hours, you could have it done in a month. Choose an engine between 65 and 130 horsepower, and you and a friend can access almost any body of water and land at those short backcountry runways. So buckle in, because this is a flight that you don't want to miss. I gotcha. Tonight traffic after turn experimental, take any active runway 30, we'll be departing to the north northwest. Tonight traffic. Alrighty man, I'm excited. in these, this aircraft, mine. Oh, you did? Exact same aircraft. And I've gotten used to the fact there's no right, propeller no, 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 to have a prop down like three, uh, three zero and delay. Tail wheel, I, this is it, this is it for me. I love this plane. Yeah, it's awesome. I, I like it so much so far. So is this kind of your efficiency cruise at this uh, 48 to, Yeah, 48 to uh, 52 in this one to maintain altitude. We want to keep about 70. All right. 60 to 70 is where, 60 to 80 is where we fly. Uh, you will see it jump up. Yeah. Um, we're, if you get going too fast, it'll climb up to 90 and stuff, but we prefer to stay away from there. Yeah. In this one. You want to fly it? I would love to. You have the plane. All right, my plane. You have the plane. This is a pitch for speed, thrust for altitude aircraft. Okay. All right. And because you can maintain 70 and give it throttle and you're going to start going up. Right? You can pull back, you're going to start going down. And I can already feel how it definitely wants to turn way more with the rudder. You know, the ailerons are, are right. kind of tough. Yep. All right, so I'm going to do just a little turn to the right. And we are clear right. Taking off three zero. And clear left. And our ball is nice and centered. Now we want to straighten out. It re yeah, it's it's really all with the runner. Yeah. Have you ever flown a Sea Ray before? Yep. Is it similar with the rudder? Kind of thing. It's a little bit different. I mean, but yes, they have a dominant rudder also. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the same. The water where it's totally different. Yeah. Completely different. And you've got a different feel on the inside because you're pushed in a little more yeah, with all the uh, leather up minimally and all that. Yeah, I'm going to take the plane. All right, your plane? I have the plane because this is where I start having fun. I've got a unique little run I like to do for Okay. Show what this plane can do. 200 hours and three years of flying this run. Oh, really? I love this run. Oh, man, it's beautiful out here. Took a boat and put wings on it. Oh, yeah, man. All right. That's fun. Now, my disclaimer. I, you got to know your plane. You got to know your area. You got to know your how the plane's going to react to the winds and without winds, and it's not to just get in and go do this. Oh uh, yeah, definitely not. not. Oh man, this is this is beautiful. <laughs> oh man. 
<laughs> this gives me the opportunity to show people what the plane can do right. with the experience and practice. Yeah, this is how you get people wanting to buy the plane. <laughs> we get to see things nobody else gets to see. Yeah, from areas that you'll never get to see it from. That's you might why get an airboat out here. Yeah. That's why I want a, a seaplane too, you know, it's... Florida has so much water, yeah. and so much, like, well, it also becomes a game to you later. Once you get and learn it all and go out and do your landings, then you're like, oh, how yeah. many lakes can I land on? Man, this is beautiful scenery out here. Uh, toss you around a little bit today. Oh yeah. But I've gotten used to it. Yeah. Before this would have scared the living daylights out of me. When I was first learning to fly. Yeah. I even had the slightest thought. Oh, we're going back. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty. That's like. Well, we shall see. Bit. 
nice to experience that. <laughs> and when we touched uh, over there, when we first landed in the water, and then when you lift off, everything becomes so smooth. It's like a, yeah. a surreal feeling, you know? My plan. You have the plan. Delan traffic, have your experimental is turning downwind from a 45 for runway 30 to land traffic. Mind if I land? You can land. Your plane. I have the plane. Delan traffic, have your experimental show a final runway 30 to land traffic. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to learn more about the Aventura, you can check out their website linked in the video notes. Until next time, blue skies, and I'll see you on the next flight. Cool beans. Oh yeah, that was awesome, man. That was awesome.